Hello there, this is James at my PE exam. Thanks so much for joining me. We're going to do this session and this quick tutorial here on the Magnus Force. The Magnus Force. And look, this is all about this Magnus Force. It's all about occasions when a ball, well, it's not necessarily a ball, but typically a ball, spins rapidly while it travels through the air. So we need to sort of have that from the start point. I also want to say to you that I hope you have previously studied the topic on the Bernoulli principle because I'm going to be relying on that knowledge within this recording. So all that said, let's actually make a start on this. Okay, so I'm thinking about sort of performances such as table tennis, a table tennis ball. I'm thinking about performances such as tennis, which I've got an image of below. And I'm thinking of performances such as a football, which might show things like, yeah, top spin and back spin, but very frequently things like side spin as well. And this is what I want you to understand. If we've got this tennis ball, and look, I'm taking the tennis example, of course, is if we show that it's traveling in this direction, we would, of course, label that the D O. M, in other words, the direction of movement. But of course, this tennis ball, if it's been sort of struck over here somewhere with an eccentric force, an off center of mass force, we will know that this ball is in effect rotating over its axis. Okay, so by definition, that's what we mean, right? by topspin. So let's realize that first of all. We are talking about topspin in this case, and the ball is traveling over its own axis. The other point I want you to kind of think about is that as the ball spins, and I'm not going to kind of sort of show this all the way around, but as the ball spins, it also spins with like a layer of air. So the ball itself, you, obviously it's completely invisible to the eye. The ball itself, as it spins, the little layer of air, what we call the boundary layer, let me write this in for you, the boundary layer also spins with the ball. So there's a boundary layer of air which also spins. And of course, that boundary layer is also going to spin in the same direction, in this case clockwise, as the tennis ball itself. So let's see what that does when we start applying some ideas to it.